Go ahead. Hello, friends. I'm Johnny Rowland. Welcome to Cactus Chronicles Tombstone Logic because uh, we're going to cover something today that I have not heard anywhere else that I think is so, so important. You know, this terrible school shooting down in Florida, uh, we hear the NRA blamed, we hear uh, us as gun owners blamed, we hear all this nonsense. What about the young man who did it? What about the young man who actually did the shooting, went in and shot a bunch of innocent people with a tool that is used by us, the, the normal gun owner, over a million times a year in various forms, the two AR-15s or handguns, whatever, to prevent a crime, to save a life, to stop a murder, who knows what, over a million times a year. But yet, the, the liberal wackos want to blame uh, a, a tool rather than the individual who did it. Also, what about the system? When this young man had been reported over and over and over to the sheriff's office, now what they have proven here that the sheriff's office cannot protect us, the federal government cannot protect us, uh, and, and look, the, the officer who was outside, he was armed, had a gun, but a sheriff's deputy was listening to gunshots inside the building, and he was cowering outside. Now, a lot of officers, line officers, have been told not to, to wait for SWAT. Well, the problem is, when people are getting killed, you got to address the problem. And as a line officer, he should have been wearing a bulletproof vest anyway, but he was frightened to death. There were also four of the deputies outside that also did not go in. Shooting's going on, they wait for SWAT. Well, we can't go in or wait for SWAT. What about the people that were being killed then? If teachers had been armed, if somebody in the school had been armed, then they could have addressed the problem right then. And so I compliment President Trump so much in saying that we need to arm teachers. We absolutely do. We arm people, we have guards at the bank, we have the celebrities, all have people with guns. And I can tell you today, simple thing, why the liberal wackos do not want guns in school. Simple explanation, and I haven't heard this anywhere else, and it's a crying shame. They don't want the teachers to be armed because then the students would say, oh, well, they got a gun and they're going to keep us safe. They would associate, the students would associate having a gun with safety. And the liberals are willing to sacrifice. Hey, you know, we're talking communists here. Look at the Bolsheviks. We're talking out and out. The people behind this are real communists. They don't care about lives. They don't care about the individual. They don't care how many people will be killed, hurt, maimed, blocked, doesn't matter to them. They want us disarmed so they can have that one world police state. You know, there's a, a great, uh, in our Christian Bible, there are fabulous, fabulous uh, thoughts and verses. One of my favorites is they proclaim themselves, I'm paraphrasing, proclaim themselves wise and became fools. And this is what we've got. We've got a lot of very foolish people who proclaim proclaim themselves wise. They hate the concept of an armed populace so much that they don't care what happens to innocent children because they want us disarmed so badly. Now that's what it's about. And this is why, oh no, no, no guns in school. When, when these celebrities they said, oh, it's the most ridiculous thing in the world to have guns in school. No, 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 no. These celebrities and politicians are surrounded by people carrying guns. And they cannot abide the thought, oh no, if we put guns in school, then those students are going to understand that to be safe, you need to be armed. Yes, they're going to get it. They're going to get it. What a concept. Friends, now is not the time to go wobbly. And we have a list of, let's see if I can have my list here, of companies that have bailed on the NRA and the Second Amendment. First National Bank of Omaha, they are no longer going to give uh, uh, discount services to NRA members. Enterprise rent a car, a Semitech, whatever they do, some kind of internet security. Uh, MetLife, how about Delta Airlines? Delta Airlines ought to be ashamed of themselves. They're from Louisiana, one of the uh, uh, areas where you have a lot of gun owners and uh, Delta, hey, great, okay. Uh, so they're, they're bailing on the NRA, United Airlines, and also Best Western Hotels. 
So you know what? I know companies that I won't be doing business with in the future because they bailed on us as Americans. These young kids are emotional. What do we seek advice on from emotional teenagers about? What, what single thing do we ask advice on? These children are used to playing video games. They don't even know which way is up about life, and yet they're demanding guns be taken away from the honest citizen, from everybody. They know so little. They don't know. They don't know anything at all. And the source-backed people, the communists, are using these poor, ignorant children and their tears. And some of those kids, it appears that some of them were actually actors who went in this thing. We, this is information we've got. So, friends, now's the time that we got to stand up and be counted for what we believe in as Americans. Thanks so much for being with us. I'm Johnny Rowland. See you on the next edition.